uh, sometimes you uh, don't plan to do a flight review and then you're bored and uh, the captain looks nice and you think, hey, I might do uh, one after all. So welcome to Egypt Air, I'm in Abu Dhabi, about to fly to Cairo on uh, what is about a three and a half, four hour flight I think. I'm going to try and get some sleep but uh, so far, so good, a nice comfortable seat on uh, this 737 and always good to get back to Egypt so looking forward to that as well. Enjoy it, we'll do it together. It turns out I was actually on an Airbus A320neo, but I had been on the road for about 24 hours and had just spent 6 hours at the worst airport in the Middle East, so my brain was fried. Therefore, best I leave the technical stuff to the experts. We all have the pleasure to welcome you on board this aircraft, Airbus 320, flight number MS9017, inbound to Cairo Airport. You can follow the speed and altitude of the aircraft on the monitors throughout the cabin. We estimate to cover the distance between Abu Dhabi and Cairo in 3 hours and 50 minutes. Egypt Air and the crew share a pleasant flight. Thank you. Apple juice in the morning. Cheers. It's a great flight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Egypt Air. The reason Abu Dhabi Airport is so awful is that it appears completely inadequate for the number of passengers it handles. The security processing area for transiting passengers is particularly bad and it's been like this for as long as I can remember. Now in terms of Egypt Air, this flight was a wonderful surprise. I have to admit though that this was partly due to the fact that I had very low expectations. It was a relatively short flight departing just after 5am on a narrow bodied aircraft, hardly a flagship service for any airline. The business class cabin consisted of the first four rows laid out in a 2x2 configuration. The seats were leather clad comfortable armchairs with plenty of legroom. Overall these seats were significantly better and more comfortable than the Qantas equivalent business class on their 737 aircraft. Even with the seat in front reclined there was still plenty of room to get out of your seat. The service on board was excellent. As this was a very early morning departure, some passengers chose to sleep and delay their breakfast. Not me. I was hungry, so happily enjoyed breakfast straight after our departure from Abu Dhabi. There were three choices for main course and they were served old style from the trolley. I passed on the meatballs and the Mexican omelette and went straight for the Egyptian option grilled halloumi and full, which was delicious. With my hunger satisfied, it was time to sleep. By the time I awoke, we were already flying over the stark desert mountain scenery of the Sinai Peninsula. Before we start our descent into Cairo, let's have a look at the Egypt Air Entertainment System. In addition to the remote, the system could be controlled using the touch screen. It was easy to use and there seemed to be a reasonable amount of choices. The route map in particular was excellent. Soon though, the desert sands below us were replaced by the endless apartment buildings and smog that helped make Cairo Africa's largest city. Despite the dirt and chaos, it's a fascinating city though and I love coming here because there's always so much going on and so much to see. Ladies and gentlemen, 
because it's landed at Cairo International Airport. Temperature outside the aircraft is reported to be 26 degrees Celsius under local time, 30 minutes past 7 a.m. For your own safety and safety of other passengers, kindly requested to remain seated with your seatbelts fastened till the complete stop of the engines and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. We hope you have enjoyed this flight with us as we're looking forward to seeing you again on our future flights. Thank you and goodbye. And in a remote cage as well to boot. That was a good flight. Enjoyed that. And that's it, we've made it to Egypt, arrived here and ready to explore this amazing country. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to check out the rest of the channel where there's a whole lot of other flight reviews and a lot more on the way. In the meantime, as always, happy travels.